In this problem, we have two logarithms, and they look <laughs> quite messy. And we have to write the uh, answer as a single logarithm. So we have to use properties of logs to write this as one log. And we want to make sure the number in front of that one log is a 1. So the coefficient is 1. So the main rule that we're going to be aiming to use in this problem is the quotient rule. It says, if you have the log base b of x minus the log base b of y, this is the same thing as the log base b of x over y. So whenever you have a subtraction, it turns into a fraction. The problem is we have these numbers here in front of the log. So we have to get rid of them. And so here's the strategy. So remember first that there are implied parentheses here. Okay, they weren't written in the original problem, so I, I didn't write them. Now, uh, keep in mind that whenever you have a number in front of a log like this, like this one, you can just put it there. You can just make it the exponent. Same thing here. You can take this one here and then just make it the exponent. That's called the power rule for logarithms. Okay, so let's do it. So this is the log base 3. Uh, that's why the parentheses are important, so you can actually write that. 16p to the 4th to the negative 3 fourths. And then minus log base 3 of 8p cubed, and this will be 2 thirds. Okay, let's go ahead and, and simplify this. So how the simplification works here is you just raise each piece to the negative 3 fourths. Because if you have, say, a, b to the n, the rule says you just get a to the n, b to the n. That's the property of exponents rule that we use. So this is log base 3 of 16 to the negative 3 fourths. And then it's going to be p to the 4 to the negative 3 fourths. Okay, so like I'll go ahead and write it. I was going to skip a step, but I will resist. <laughs> I usually don't show the step. And then this is in parentheses. Ridiculous. Minus log base 3 of 8 to the 2 thirds. And then this would be p cubed. And this is to the 2 thirds. The step I wanted to skip was, you know, you can just multiply these numbers here, right? So boom. And then same thing here, you can multiply these numbers here. So let's go ahead and simplify all of this before we use the quotient rule, right? Remember, the quotient rule says it's just going to be log of this piece here divided by this piece here. But let's go ahead and, and clean up these inside pieces and then use um, our quotient rule. Um, actually, yeah, let's do that first. Yeah. So this here, 16 to the negative 3 fourths. Let's go to the side and, and deal with that. So 16 to the negative 3 fourths. What in the world is that? That's really 1 over 16 to the 3 fourths. Okay? And the way this works is this number here, the 4, always goes in the little pocket here like this. So it goes here, the 16 goes here, and then you can put the 3 on the outside. The fourth root of 16 is 2. So you get 1 over 2 cubed, which is just 1 over 8. This will be the log base 3 of 1 eighth. And then we talked about this, how you just multiply these. So the 4s cancel, so you get p to the negative 3. Minus log base 3. 8 to the 2 thirds, same deal. I'll do it up here on the top right. 8 to the 2 thirds. The number on the bottom, the 3 goes in the little pocket. So it goes here like this, and the 8 goes here. And then you can just put the 2 on the outside. And then um, cube root of 8 is 2. So you get 2 squared, so you get 4. So this will be 4. Then same thing here, 2 thirds times 3, the 3's cancel, so you get p squared. All right, that wasn't so bad. Pretty tough though, right? Pretty tough for uh, a problem, right? This is like, you know, it's like pre-calc level. This is, not, this is not just basic algebra level. This is actually from a pre-calc book, I think. So log base 3. Now we're going to divide. So it'll be this divided by this. So it'll be 1 8 p to the negative 3. That's in the numerator. Over 4 p squared. Okay, 4 p squared. So let's clean this up. So this will be log base 3. 
okay, first let's do the the one eighth over four. If you have if you have one eighth divided by four, that's really one eighth times the reciprocal of four, which is one fourth. So you just get one over thirty two. So this will be a fraction, and we'll get a thirty two on the bottom. And then p cubed over p is just p because you lose. Uh, one of the uh, P's. Oh, 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 I messed up. This is a negative. This is a negative. I caught it. Wow, close. Almost messed up. See the negative three here. I lost my negative. So there we have it. So you can bring it downstairs, right? You bring it downstairs and it becomes P squared, P cubed. Wow, almost messed up there, right? Right, because if, if it's negative, you bring it down and it becomes a P cubed. So this is log base three of 1 over 32 and then what happens is you do p squared times p cubed so you add the p's so you get p to the 5 and that would be the final answer wow we're almost messed up there at the end of the problem so be really careful uh, it just goes to show how easy it is you know to mess up i forgot the negative and i would have gotten you know the wrong answer hopefully if you're you know, taking a test and that happens it's not just like game over you know minus 10 um, you know because we did a lot of work um, to get here so uh, much, much harder problem uh, than some of the other examples uh, that we've been doing. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful to you. Good luck.